What's up guys? How's it going? We're going to go ahead and take a look at SSET Internet Security. Now I did download a 14 day trial and if you want to download a, a trial I will post a link on the description of the video below. But this is what it looks like here. Just click on free download and you'll be able to download it. They'll have you make an account. Once you make an account you'll be able to see this page here on the web browser and then this is the actual uh, uh, software itself. Once you install it this is what it looks like here. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what PC Mag had to say about this first. Let's look at the pros and cons and the uh, specs on it. So, the pros on this set, uh, this is uh, internet security. The pros says that it's very good antivirus lab scores, which we'll, we'll take a look at those scores here in a bit. Full featured Android protection, so it also works on your Android phones. I don't think it works on iPhone. Hmm. No impact in performance tests, useful home network security scanner, and anti-theft software for laptops. The cons is very limited parental control. We'll take a look at that parental control here in a bit. Poor score and enhanced on malware protection tests. Ooh, that's not good. Usually when uh, when an antivirus program doesn't do good in this uh, score or the test, that I give it a very low rating because that's that's where the rubber meets the road is that, that test. Unusually annoying firewall pop-ups. I already had pop-ups be popping up a while ago and they are annoying. Pro Edition adds little for Mac OS. All right, let's take a look at the specs. So VPN, it has none. Now, nowadays in, in, in today's world, um, you need VPN because of all the tracking and all that craziness going on. Firewall, yes. Anti-spam, yes. Parental control, yes. No backup, no tune-up. So this, this, um, this one here is set internet security does not have a tune-up. Which, if you're going to pay for something, I would, I would suggest it, all of these say yes. If you're going to pay for something, guys, yes for VPN, yes for backup, yes for tune-up. It's got to have it all if you're going to pay for it. If not, just get the free version of some antivirus program that has all this, you know. <laughs> but anyway, this is what it looks like here. I don't know why my browser turned off right there. Okay. And this is what it looks like on your browser. Now, it'll show here your license, how many devices, and it's picking up my phone right now, I think, which is kind of weird. Um, if we go to show all devices, so there's my phone, and uh, I believe this is, I don't know what this one is. But you can come in here, add new devices, and you can also uh, rename, disconnect right there. We'll first take a look at the at the settings on the browser here. Now the parental control is down here. If we click on parental control, um, I made a test one here. You can add if you click on this add button. And basically you send an installation link to their email address for their phone. And then when they start the app, um, you'll have to enter credentials to activate it and then select the profile your child from it. Then you go ahead and uh, set everything up, which you do it through here rules. So this is one of the biggest features of uh, a set internet security. That's why I'm starting here because for me, this is probably the best part of it. And then we'll look at the rest of it. But uh, right here, you can go ahead and disable or enable it. You could do app blocking. And you could tell it to block inappropriate apps automatically. You could do a battery protector, which you could protect from 10, 20, or 30 percent. Basically, if it reaches that, it'll stop uh, block time limited, time limited apps to prolong battery life, and it's turned off when charging. And then right here, you can go ahead and uh, filter through your apps, and then you click here to search for apps if you want to add them to the list. Now there is rec uh, setting recommended settings that you could do from be uh, under eight, eight to eleven, twelve to fourteen, fifteen to seventeen, and then eighteen plus, and it will automatically um, set it for that. Now time limits. If you click here on time, this is really cool. You turn it on over here, and you can actually set up what exactly what custom time you want to do the parental control for your child there, which I think that's a really good feature. There's also web blocking here. You can go ahead and if you don't want them to be uh, know anything, for example, family and parenting, 
you unclick that online ads religion sports technology you can really go into depth here and then right here is a apply recommended settings if you put 18 plus you know the only thing is these two 12 to 17 wow 18 plus they're letting them access adult content wow <laughs> i recommend that but uh yeah you can do it however you want right there that's the parental control now let's go back let's take a look at the anti-theft and then right here you can go ahead and optimize the device you can add a new device and you can download and install a set on mobile on uh, Android devices but I don't think it does iPhone guys so if you guys have an iPhone I'd recommend you get this and it just walks you through all the steps here to add uh, anti-theft to your to your uh, devices there and one last thing the password manager and this is a bummer for the password manager you need to get a set smart security premium so they're gonna upsell you to use their password manager and like I said guys if you're gonna pay for something I recommend it's got all the features if you're gonna put money down you know all right and that's all the features on the browser let's look at the actual uh, program here itself now the home screen will tell you right away if there's a tension and of course it's the free trial oh I thought it was 14 days but it looks like it's 29 days so you guys will be able to test it for 29 days um, anti-theft optimization warning we'll look into that in a bit now the computer scanner I notice it just has one scan that's it I don't know if it's a full scan a quick scan but it's just scan so I don't like that it doesn't have different options of what type of scan you could do and there it is now I like a I like an antivirus or internet security software to be able to do a scan and be able to still do stuff around it, which is good some of the ones we reviewed once it does a scan it doesn't let you do nothing else but that's good we do have advanced scans we can do a custom scan oh here we are here is where you could change it okay smart, smart scan context menu scan in-depth and computer scan and you can do a custom here select what you want to scan so that's good that's where you find it if you go to custom scan you'll see it here if you want to change the scan it's running a scan right now and I imagine that's a full scan to update it you click here and it looks like it's updated we do have some tools we have a network inspector where you can actually see everything all the networks available and be able to to check that out we have uh, banking and payment protection it actually opens up another browser here and I need to restart the computer because I barely installed the uh, a set but once once you restart it use this when you're going to banking and doing anything social security numbers anything you open, so that's a really good thing about a set here it does have a secure browser protects you there so payment and banking and payment prediction will only be fully functional after the computer has reached so yeah after you restart you'll be able to use it okay and then this is the anti-theft we're, we're looking at and Windows accounts are protected automatic login accounts automatic login for all accounts is disabled so sometimes a new computer will have an administrator account that has no password and a hacker or somebody that's tech savvy can get can get into your computer that way but that protects that now it looks like you can make a phantom account if you click on create phantom account you're able to create a phantom account with Windows so if somebody does try to steal your identity they'll be going to an account with limited permissions that's used as bait for potential thief so that's good all right, and that's about it. That's all it does. Right now it's scanning. Let's take a look at uh, the actual test through PC Mag. So first let me explain uh, how the test works. So AV Test Institute rates products on protection, performance, and usability with six points possible for each. 80% of products in the latest test as set earn a perfect 18 out of 18 possible points. So that's good for a set. Rather than using a numeric scale, the testers at AV compare to certified products as advanced plus, advanced, or standard, depending on how well they perform. Of the three tests, a set earns one apiece of standard, advanced, and advanced plus. Avast, AVG, Bitdefender, McAfee took advanced plus in all three. So it looks like Avast, AVG, Bitdefender, McAfee actually did better than a set, it looks like. For comparison purposes, I use an they use an algorithm that maps all the tests to a 10-point scale under rise aggregated lab scores. As set, 
looks like it got 9.4 points, which is good, but others do even better. For example, AVG currently holds a perfect 10 and Bit Defender 9.9. .9. I'm sorry about the beeping out there. I think they're uh, doing construction, guys. But anyway, let's take a look at the uh, the lab results here. So a set got a 9.4. So that's where it scores right there. The best we could see here is Bit Defender 9.9. .9. Uh, so 9.4, that's pretty bad, guys. F Secure is 9.7, G Data 9.3, K7 8.6, Kaspersky got 9.9. .9. So, so there we go. That is how good it does actually testing it um, against malicious threats. 9.4 out of 10. It's still up there in the high nine nine point in the high nines, but still, guys, um, there's better out there. But it, like I said, it's probably like in third place right now, I see. Yeah, because there's 9.4, 9.3, there's even 8.6. So it's still up there. If you guys decide to go with, go with a set, it'll still protect you 9.4 out of 10. So we're good. You'll be good. But as we see here, there is 9.9 .9 available. Like Bitdefender, Kaspersky, and it was talking about AVG. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video below if you decided to get the free trial and try it out. Let me know how it worked for you. Out of five stars, I got to give it because because of this right here. It does not have no VPN. It has no backup feature, no tune-up feature. Every Well, I guess it's just internet security. That's why I bet you the S-Set products that, that are more expensive probably have all this. But like I said, guys, if you're going to pay for anything, make sure you have all of these. We have VPN is a must these days. Tune-up, you got to tune up your computer. I like to have that all in one all in one solution. So I think one of the more, more expensive asset products asset products probably has it. But uh, I got to give it a maybe a, a 3 out of 5 stars because at least it's going to protect you if we look at here. At least 9. Point, what was it? 9.4 out of 10 is still going to protect you. So the protection works and that uh parental control we were looking at works pretty good too. Just uh so 3 out of 5 I'm going to give a set Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in one of the next reviews.